بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن والاه Reminder my dear brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah it is indeed and we should feel that and think about that and say that but it is ni'ma from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are able to perform Salatul Fajr to perform Salatul Fajr in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hopefully to perform Salatul Fajr in the house of Allah azza wa in the right spirit with the right attitude with the right emotions with the right intentions dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is essential to us as in the physical sense food physical food is essential to us the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is essential to us and the dhikr of Allah azza wa jal that Allah ordered us for he subhanahu wa ta'ala in many so ayat in the Quran he commands us to be in the dhikr of Allah azza wa jal very frequently ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dhikrullaha dhikran kathira for example wa sabbihuhu bukratan wa asila al-dhakirin Allah kathiran wa al-dhakirat as he mentions also in the Quran and even he mentions to us that uh, the hypocrites, the munafiqun uh, of their characteristics is that they are only occasionally in the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal مذبذبين بين ذلك لا إله هؤلاء ولا إله هؤلاء before that يراؤون الناس ولا يذكرون الله إلا قليلا مذبذبين Allah Azza wa Jal mentions that as well Dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal, my dear brothers and sisters, is essential to us, for we are human beings and we are faith human beings. And that is that there is a soul, there is a spirit that needs to be nurtured, that needs to be uh, fed. And of the most important of that is frequent dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. Secondly, that dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal, we must do our best that we perform the dhikr of Allah Azza wa with an awareness inside of us of, first of all, that we are aware of Allah Azza wa That we are aware of Allah Azza wa What does it mean to be aware of Allah Azza wa In a sense, when I am sitting and I want to be aware of my environment, I have to focus. And I have to disengage from other attitudes and other awareness so that I'm aware of what I want to be aware of. I have to make an effort. So inside of me to be aware of the fact that Allah Azza wa watches me, I must make an effort. I must, as we say in common English, I must learn to concentrate. I must learn to disengage inside of me from other thoughts and other concerns and other feelings and make myself aware of that fact. That's how it starts. And that awareness in the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal is also very essential. For it is this type of dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal done with awareness and frequently that is very essential for a very essential concern which is what? Cleansing our qulub. Cleansing our qulub from ghafla, from many diseases of our hearts. Dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal, intense dhikr, frequent and with awareness is a means that Allah Azza wa Jal created and assigned for us to cleanse our qulub and he asked us to cleanse our qulub we cannot meet Allah Azza wa Jal with our hearts filled with hate and anger and envy and arrogance and delusion and ghadr and khiyana and dishonesty and lying and we cannot do that our qulub must be cleansed we come to salah to cleanse our qulub 
act of ibadah, but it cleanses our qulub. We perform dhikr, act of ibadah, to cleanse our qulub. We perform sawm, act of ibadah, to cleanse our qulub. We turn to Allah in dua, act of ibadah, to cleanse our qulub. We must be aware of this objective, of this aim. Because we don't want simply to perform these acts only mechanically, without purpose, without aim, and without change. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as is related, Ala inna ala inna li kulli shay'in saqalatan, wa inna saqalata al qulubi dhikrullah ta'ala. Everything has a means by which to be cleansed. And the means by which hearts are cleansed is a dhikr of Allah Is a dhikr of Allah And for that to be effective, I need to know that I want to cleanse my qalb. And this is a means of it. And then I take it very seriously. And I spend, he has a quality time in my dhikr. And part of that quality time is what I was trying to uh, remind myself and my dear brothers and sisters is to focus in my dhikr and to have the right attitude in my dhikr and to implore Allah through that dhikr to cleanse my qalb because ultimately when we die all what counts is a qalb salim. You know that, right? When we die, all what counts is qalbun salim. Who said that? Allah Azza wa Jal says that in the Quran, as you know. That when we come to him, when we die, nothing will be of any use to anybody except a qalb salim. As Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salam in Surah Al-Shu'ara said in a prayer to Allah Azza wa Jal, وَلَا تُخْزِنِي يَوْمَ يُبَاثُونَ يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ Except the one who comes to Allah with a qalb that is salim, a heart that is sound and clean, does not have hate, does not have envy, does not have arrogance, does not have shirk, does not have horror, does not have etc. khadi'a, and so on and so forth. And thus, that dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jal, I and you, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to focus. And it is good for us in so many other aspects of life. Even those of us who want dunya, legitimate dunya. Even those of us who want dunya, I underline legitimate dunya. Dhikr of Allah is good for you. Dhikr of Allah helps us have quality dunya, not just any dunya. Quality dunya. Without dhikr of Allah, without that consciousness, we might have dunya but pitiful dunya, low base dunya, haqir dunya. But with dhikr of Allah, it's quality dunya, if we want that as well. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us all and guard us all and guide us all and forgive us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.